So this is a Lloyd short video, and this is a succotash recipe that I'm filming for John, who requested it. We got acorn squash, butter, sausage, and we got some chicken broth, and we got some beans, and we got some corn, and that's all that goes in it. And the original would have had deer meat in it, but deer season's not for another couple weeks. Melt some butter in a pot as much as you want. <laughs> I like a lot. So does Chelsea. Brown some meat, in this case honey garlic sausage, because that's what I like. But brown whatever meat you have in pot, in butter. When your meat is suitably browned, throw in some cut up squash. Could be butternut, could be acorn, could be pumpkin, whatever you got. Throw that right in there on top of that meat. When your squash is in the pot, dump in a can of chicken broth or beef broth. And if you don't have that because you live in a wigwam in the woods, use water. Cook that on high heat for a while. When everything's boiling, dump in your corn and your beans. In this case, peaches and cream corn and navy beans. Or whatever you've got. You can also use fresh ingredients if you want to get fancy. With the last of your ingredients in, you can put salt and pepper or nutmeg or whatever spices you like or just leave it as is. And let that cook until the squash is as soft as you like. You can boil it down so the squash becomes soft or you can leave the squash a little bit harder so it's chunky. Up to you. So there you go. All done. Succotash from canned stuff from the grocery store if you don't have fresh ingredients and you're poor. And I put in sausage, but you could use deer, you could use lamb, you could use moose, you could do whatever. Just put in an animal and then eat it. Hope Abby likes it, John.